hi loves welcome to my new video i'm very excited about today's video because we're gonna do a q a i ask you some questions on youtube and instagram and i'm just very excited to finally talk about it with you if you're new to my channel hi my name is nina i'm a model and a professional lifestyle coach and i'm all about having a balance and having a healthy lifestyle which doesn't mean 100% healthy and yeah I'm gonna try to answer as many questions as possible today okay let's get started it's a big list one of the questions that a lot of you guys asked me was uh, how many calories should I eat per day if you follow me for a longer time you know that I'm not a huge fan of counting calories at all in my opinion that's not really beneficial for your relationship with food um, you know if you count all your calories you see it as like a dangerous number you know you don't really listen anymore to the body like what am I craving what do I want what do I need um, but if you're counting calories you're more of like okay I, if i eat this much calories i can eat that or if i uh you know work out and burn that many calories i can eat that and honestly food is to enjoy as well so i am not a fan at all about counting calories because yeah it just really mess messes a lot of time with your relationship with food and your relationship with food is literally the start of like finding a balance and you know not restricting yourself and still be able to you know feel good in your body and have a body that you feel happy with so yeah especially on long term i think this is very important so i don't know how many calories i eat also the clients that i coach we never ever focus on calories also if you count calories a lot of times you start restricting so you're gonna be like oh you know try to have like the least calories in every meal and you start restricting the same what a lot of people do with like carbs or with fats and what happened after a long time of restricting and you might realize that maybe yourself too is that you're like all of a sudden you have this huge binge moment and you're gonna eat whatever whatever amount of calories whatever carbs whatever fats and this is sad you know because first of all you don't enjoy your moment that you eat all the things because you feel guilty with binging it's not nice you even feel full you you feel not proud you are nausea you know it's like not a nice way of eating and a second of all you really you know you had such a hard week or months or day or whatever time you actually stay restricted and you felt like oh i cannot do this or i cannot eat this so it's like a super restricted feeling every day and then you don't even enjoy it when you eat it right so during the binge so i would really recommend just find like just start listening a bit more and if you want a piece of chocolate go for this piece of chocolate um instead of restricting 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 and then afterwards eating like crazy you know because then in the end if you calculate which way you eat more probably you will even eat way more whenever you restrict it and then overeat in the end so that's a big first thing then another question is what is a healthy sleeping routine like and this is interesting because how much sleep you need is very personal so for one person like seven hours would be perfect and you need this amount to function well instead for others it can be six hours sometimes even nine so i cannot say like you need all this amount of sleep you know start kind of tracking if i go to bed at like 11 pm and i wake up at 7 how do i feel if i go to bed at 12 a.m and i wake up at at seven do i feel worse you know like start tr finding like how you feel whatever amount of sleep you have and aim for the amount that you you know feel the best with and that's not always more because you might even realize that if you sleep like like nine hours or more a lot of times you will even feel more tired the next day right so try to aim for like that amount of sleep that you feel good with that you feel energized energetic with but not lazy like for me this is eight hours and yeah that's why i also aim for eight hours of sleep for sure can you change the way you look without losing or gaining weight and that's a very nice one because yes you can a lot of like 
persons like a lot of girls especially are focusing all the time on like i want to like weigh this um, like this specific weight you know what you see on the scale but then in the end who does see the number on the scale like literally no one sees the number so why would you focus so much on the number it's not like written on your forehead then on top of that like the number doesn't say anything because fat is less heavy than muscle so if you gain muscle but you lose fat which means you look much much more fat you feel much more happy in your body then still the skill can tell you something else it can tell you oh but you gain weight you know and in our brain this is always such a thing it's like as soon as i gain weight it's not good right please please get rid of this idea of like i should like work towards my goals uh, based on like my goal in weight because that doesn't say anything i always really recommend my uh, clients to evaluate their progress based on what they see in the mirror and how they feel about their habits and how they feel about themselves yeah that says much more than the weight on the scale and coming back to the question like can you change the way you look without losing or gaining weight yes you can 100 percent. so that's super interesting then another question that i got is I eat healthy and work out, but I don't see results. What to do? This is also something I see a lot of in the practice. It's like, you know, you feel like you're doing everything to, you know, work towards your goals and like feel fit and feel great. So you're always looking at your food. You're always doing one hour workout a day or something, but more is not always better. So remind yourself that if you ask so much from your body, your body will be never has the time to process things so if you work out so much and you eat so super healthy and you all the time stress yourself out like i need to work out i need to eat healthy i can't do this i need to do that then your body is not really processing things it feels like okay is this a war what is happening like we're better saving everything she's eating because you know your body is like what to do in this situation maybe one day she doesn't eat at all anymore and she's going to run every day two hours so it's gonna save the food you're giving it so that's that's one possibility of course it's not the case with every everyone also a lot of times you think like i'm doing the right things but maybe you're not doing the right things for your body um there's so much information on the internet um, like oh you should do this you should not eat that this will make you fat this will you know burn calories or whatever but there is also a lot of false information on the internet so don't stick to like one thing that you've read anywhere um, but always do your research very well and from good sources like people that actually studied for it instead of just listening listening to whoever so that's very important to make sure you know you're doing the right things and as i said more is not always always better when it comes to workouts that's why i also make like super short but effective workouts so it doesn't ask too much from your body uh you're not gonna get super hungry from it while you would like you know eat more as well that's what happened a lot of as well if you work out like crazy you're of course you're more hungry so then in the end you balance it out and you're not losing weight also relaxation sleep stress has some factors on this um that's why i focus on all these aspects as a lifestyle coach and that's why i didn't decide to just do nutrition or personal training because in my opinion it comes all together you know if you didn't sleep well you eat worse your body's processing it in a different way if you're stressed the same so if you don't have you know the peace and the, the love for yourself in your life then it's already very hard to reach the goals and for your body to process things in the way it should so that's very important too how to have a healthy relationship with food i wish it was as easy as like just giving an answer and then you're like safe right because a lot of times this comes from fur you know you've been having such a hard time for years with food or working out or your body image and it's not as easy like one two three to change this i'm focusing on this a lot with my clients and i really like I, I fell in love with this subject. I meet so many clients who have not the right relationship with food. And it, I guess it also comes from the world we are living in with social media and so much expectations and the things you read everywhere. And like Instagram shows you like 
this is healthy, this is healthy, and you're like, oh, I should be healthy, but then on that time you get obsessed with it and you lose your normal relationship with food where it's about, it is about, you know, giving you energy to live and to be healthy and to have like a daily routine. If you think about food all day long, then it's very hard to find a balance in it. So I love this question and I wish I could help you like with the best tips right now, but I feel like it's really a long process. Um, but it can get better, I promise you. So what I would recommend for sure is stop counting calories, as I said before. Stop restricting yourself on specific food groups um, or calories. And really start trying to listen to yourself again. Like, what do I need today? Like, how do I feel today? What do I want today? If I want a sandwich, but you told yourself like sandwiches, carbs, that's bad. Don't give yourself rules for like what's bad and what's good. Especially not for like normal food groups. A lot of girls and women think with normal things like pasta or bread or avocado or like a banana even. A lot of people have an image like, oh, but that's fat, that's carbs, like that's bad for you. I think you should go back to like... Where is food about? It's about giving you energy. It's about, you know, for you to survive. And if you go back to like the more fresh foods and the food that is there to be food, then it's always a good choice. So um, if you feel like you need some help with this, you need someone that will take your hand and walk you through the process. And, you know, it's giving you the mental support and insurance to like, you're doing the right things and... Um, this step you should take now and this step you should make now uh, then reach out to me you know um, I will in the end of the video tell a little bit more about lifestyle coaching and a lot of questions are about height like how to increase my height I don't know where this comes from but your height is not changeable like that's genetic there's no workout that's gonna increase your height there's nothing I did to increase my height like love your height as it is because you can change it and it's just your height and a lot of girls think it's amazing to be super tall like I am but of course that's also not always amazing so your height it really doesn't matter at all if I look around at friends the height is not gonna make them pretty or amazing or confident um, it's really about how you wear it so please just be confident with your height and accept it as it is there's like no tip for changing your height and if anyone tells you so it's not true does eating at night cause gaining weight um it doesn't a lot of people say this the thing is food is food and if you eat it you eat it and it's in the body and it's it's not going to be more food if you eat it after 8 p.m or it's not going to be worse or like gaining much more weight gain after 8 p.m of course it it has an impact on your digestive system and if you keep eating all day don't give yourself a bit of rest in between eating you know that can have an impact on your digestive system but it's not like okay if you ate after 8 p.m i'm gonna you know gain more weight um it's not true can i work out on an empty stomach that's a good one too um, yes, you can, um, but I really recommend to don't do a too intense workout without eating anything. So I can do this sometimes, but then it's like 20 or 30 minutes max. Also, this is important for the hormonal balance. So if you used to be out of your hormonal balance, I don't really recommend to work out before food. And then on top of that, listen to the body. If you are the person that wakes up and you are hungry, please eat first because you don't want to ask too much from your body in that sense and you can eat something small right because i know it's very annoying to be super full from breakfast and i'm waiting and then you need to do a workout somewhere so even like a banana will already help you to give you some energy and to start the system and you know for you to feel good to start a workout so listen to the body in this but um, I don't really recommend at all, especially not for women with hormonal imbalances to work out without food. How to work out during my period? I would say try to work out, but maybe do different things 
than you would usually do so don't make it too intense maybe go more for like yoga or pilates things go for a walk listen to the body if your body feels like not as fit don't force yourself and in the end you see it always comes back to this it's like please start trying to listen to the body because your body doesn't give signs for for no reason right it's like this is what it what your body does do it gives you signs like i'm tired so don't right but also know when you give yourself the excuse with everything like oh but it's my period so i can't work out it's my period so i have cravings it's my period so i can like finish this bar of chocolate so of course if you really crave more food if you really feel like you need a rest listen to it but start to see the difference in between oh i'm sorry for myself because i have my period or you actually need the rest and you actually need some extra food so be honest to yourself in this another one about periods is i lost my period what to do um i got some more questions about this and this is hard you know um but if you lost your period all of the sudden probably after a diet or something that's a sign from your body that you don't give your body what it needs you had your period and then all of a sudden you lost it and probably something changed in your life that causes this this can also be a lot of stress this can be your diet um so have a look at like why did i lost my period what changed in between that time and now and then work on that so if it's food related add some foods add some fats add the things you've been restrictive on if it's stress related work on the stressor and uh, take more care of yourself uh, find some more relaxation the stressor can also be workouts if you do a lot a lot of workouts then maybe you should do less and you should you know give your body a rest as well so find the cause and if really nothing changed you didn't lose weight you didn't change anything then i would recommend to see a doctor and let your hormones be checked to see what's really going on should i do the same workouts every week or every day i recommend to really change up your workout schedule so that's also why i make different workouts like different abs ones different hips ones different legs ones different cardios uh, because if you keep changing your uh, workouts your body keeps changing too every workout targets a different kind of muscle different like as something different from your body and if you just repeat the same thing your body is getting used to it and it's very hard to get progress yeah mix it up how to keep working out while traveling or on holiday a lot of people forget that when you're traveling or you're on holiday you probably walk a lot probably more than when you go to school or when you go to your work every day because you you know you're around all day and going to different places so that's the type of workout already um, but then also of course you can just add like a small workout in the morning if you feel like it but also remember if it's holiday you might need a rest too like that's where holiday is for and always what motivates me too is like you know after holiday i'm kind of done with all the food i've been eating that i'm usually not eating at home i'm done with like not doing any workouts not feeling so strong anymore so i'm like kind of done in the end of the holiday with being lazy or like not having my routine and that motivates me again to get back into my routine afterwards and to you know get the most out of it so holidays are for holidays too and that's also good for your body to have a big ass rest so don't ask too much from yourself if you feel like oh i want to do something go to the beach and do a pilates workout or something but don't force yourself too much on this once a year holiday then a question that I got is how to increase my intake and how to gain weight. A lot of times when you have to gain weight, a lot of girls probably then, you know, are like in an eating disorder or somewhere that their relationship with food is not as good as it could be. Um, of course, there are other reasons too, but like, so maybe search it in like the hidden food. So add some oil over your salads. Um, add some extra nuts, add peanut butter in your smoothie bowls, 
So add some more hidden fats, some carbs, where you would usually make a salad, maybe add carbs to the salad in any form, like quinoa or like anything, add some cheese to it, proteins. Also add an eating moment. So add a little snack time and go for like nuts or a cracker with peanut butter. Do your meals again, go for chicken, like some things that you feel good about eating. I always recommend like don't eat things that you just feel worse after. Then another question was, how do I know if I need the needs of my body? I think one big thing here is how energetic do you feel during the day? Um, do you feel you're as energetic as the people around you? Do you feel like you're hungry all the time thinking about food? You know, that you're not meeting your needs for sure. But also if you feel like your mood is changing. So if you feel grumpy more often, if you feel irritated or if you don't get too close to your emotions anymore. These are all signs that you just not give your body what it needs. So yeah, it can be physically, it can be mentally, emotional. You just, your body is kind of giving you some signs like you're not giving it enough. Okay, I think this was the last question for now. I just want to say about all these questions, of course, it's super personal like how your system is and where it goes wrong or right for you so it's it's hard to answer these questions based on that i don't know anything about you that's why i do personal lifestyle coaching so i can actually listen to your situation and see what we should change for you and what would work for you to reach your goals um so yeah if you would like to hear more about me and my personal lifestyle coaching check out the link in the description box but also have a look at my other lifestyle advices videos to see some of my tips and to see more about my vision on lifestyle and how i help my clients and of course i would love to help you too so if you have questions about anything or if you would be interested please reach out to me i would just say Please enjoy my channel. I'm so grateful for 75,000 subscribers. That's like really, really crazy. So thank you so much. Also, if you didn't try out my workout videos yet, please try it out. You will love them. They're super short and effective. And yeah, have a look at my whole profile. Follow me on Instagram to have some more healthy lifestyle inspiration. And yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. I hope I answered most of your questions. I didn't want to make this video too long. So yeah, I love you guys and see you soon. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do it yet. Yeah.